Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Arita Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Arita Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding gameplay analysis part two using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in JSON Games interviews over the past couple of years. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. And also, if you do not have LeetCode Premium subscription, do not worry. I am going to share this Panda schema in the description below as well. You can just copy it into your Jupyter Notebook and try it for yourself as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, we are given a table called activity with four different columns with player ID, device ID, event date and games played. The combined columns player ID and event date is the primary key that is combination of these columns with unique values of this table. This table shows the activity of the players of some games. Each row is a record of a player who, lo who logged in and played a number of games, possibly zero, before logging out on some day using some device. Okay, we are asked to write a solution to report the device that is first logged in for each player. Order of the result does not matter. So if we go through this example, right, so we have several inputs here. So different player IDs, the device ID they logged in, the date it they logged in and the number of games played. So for every player, we need to find out on which device ID they logged in very first. So for example, for player ID one, right, so we have two entries. The very first login was on 1st of March 2016. The next one was 2nd of May 2016. So very first device where this player ID 1 logged in was device ID 2. For player ID 2, there is only one entry. So this is going to be in the output. And for 3 as well, you have two inputs. So the earliest is this one, right? 2nd of March 2016. And that, that is device ID 1. So for 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 1. And that is what you have the output. Okay. So basically what do we need to do is we can go ahead and make a fifth column here called rank based on that for every you know player id arranged by event date in ascending order and then rank okay so once you have ranked then it is going to rank okay so the first one is ranked one then rank two three and so on and once you have ranked them then we can make sure that okay keep only those rows where rank is equal to one because that is the earliest day the person or that particular player logged in and for the, those rows you just keep the player id and the device id and the method of ranking should be dense because if even if on the same date the person logged in from more than one device right so you need to rank both of them as rank equal to one right so what we can do is let's start with okay so take this activity data frame and let's make a column called rank and how we are going to do this is let's take the activity data frame and because for each player we need to find out the earliest login date and then take the device id right so group by the player id right group by the player id and then you take the event date column because you need to rank based on event date right take the event date column and then rank right now how do you want to rank you need to rank method is equal to dense right so that even if there is a tie you need to rank both of them as one right or the same value and you do not skip it right and then ascending right so ascending is equal to true right why because we need to rank the earliest as rank one right so take this event date column and then as arrange in ascending order for every particular player id and then rank using the method dense right okay so let me go ahead and return this. Let's see what do we have right now here, right? So return activity. Let me go ahead and run this. So if you look at it, right? So now you have for every player ID, right? So every player ID. So this was the earliest login, right? So rank one, two, then rank one. And then for player ID three, rank one and two. So now once we have this, then we know that, okay, rank one is basically that rank where for every player ID, it was the earliest login date, right? So for those rows, we need to return the player id and device id so let's keep only those rows where our rank is equal to one right so rank is equal to equal to one let me go ahead and run this again let's see what do we have here okay so now we only have these rows where you know this was the earliest date for every player id where they logged in now in the output we only need the player id and device id right we do not need all these three columns so we can just pass the list that we want so we need the player id first and then we also need the device id right so device id um okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here 
So this is accepted and our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it. This will pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted as well. So not a very difficult question. All we had to do was, you know, for every player we ranked, okay, what was the first date that the person logged in, right? And once you have that ranking, then we only kept those rows where rank is equal to one because for every particular player, that was the earliest date they logged in. And for them, we just, you know, return the player ID and device ID because we are, you know, asked to return the device that is first logged in for each player, right? So this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.